Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a day on some Lambretta panels. This is going to be a two part video on these because I'm not going to get all these done in one hit for you guys on a video. But we're doing some series one Lambretta panels. I've got these here. So this is what we're doing today. These panels are really clean and in nice condition. So there's not a lot of prep on these. A nice flat up on this base. Any bits where it's broke through like here will clean up, epoxy the edges so it protects it, get these into base coat. We've got to put some numbers, a number on each side of these, number 59 of the year of the bike. And then to the front, as you can see, this one's all clean here and this one has got holes cut out. Now, what these panels have, some do, some don't, they have air vents, they have cutouts here on these panels and then when you're going along this panel would be sitting up right on the side of the bike like that and you get airflow that goes through here and it runs across the engine and it acts as like a cooling aid for the engine now this customer's had this series one tweaked and it is very quick so the engine would be running hotter so he's had the panels on gone out for obviously a ride and cooked the engine so he's sent the panels to me to get these cut out put some nice big air vents in here, both sides. We'll drop the numbers on, repaint them in, in the base coat, give them a nice liquor clear coat to finish. So that's what we're doing. The bits that we're gonna be using today, spray guns, which will probably be in tomorrow's episode, GTI Pro Light with the TE 10 cap for the base coat. And we'll use the W400 for the clear coat. For dropping a little bit of the epoxy down just to seal some of the metal edges off, we're going to use the Creos PS290 airbrush. Nice brush for that. You've got the spot cap so you can just drop a nice little intricate piece in. We've got the base coat, which is a colour matched to the bike. That's all sorted. Panel wipe. Prepping things, we've got soft foam sponges. Got a block, 500, 320 and an 8 tear, but we're not going to need the 8 tear. Gloves tack rag and we've got a dremel for cutting things out so if you've ever seen these dremels this is an older dremel i've got another one but you get these little cutting discs and these are a quick release cutting disc you pull back on that there and twist it round, and they come off like that if you've not used these guys and you own a dremel pick yourself up some of these with the quick release head because they're really good little cutting discs for getting intricate pieces out we've got some burrs to sand the edges and some little sanding this so it can clean all the metal up nice and clean. Mask. So they're the bits that we're going to be using to get this project done today. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video on the e-bike. It was good to get out and have a little blast. It's getting really warm in the UK at the minute. I've been getting comments on the channel saying it's going to be a different beast when you get the battery. I'm itching to get this battery for this bike now. And yesterday's video, I did say I would give you a look at the lid that we've got up and coming on the channel to paint. So this is the lid that we're going to be painting. So this will be another video on custom painting the lid. This one's took a bit of a beating. It's a motocross lid, full face, fits really nice. This is an old lid of mine. So we're going to sand all this back and we're going to do a theme on this to match the e-bike so when we're out just got a themed lid because going 50 mile an hour on that bike if you come off you've got to protect your noggin so we'll crack on with the video our sticky in time lapses give you little talks along the way and we'll get as much done on this today in this video as we can and then we'll be finishing off like probably doing the clear coat stage tomorrow so enjoy the video these prepped up, hand sanded right down, 
with a 320 wherever there's any bits where it needed sanding through to like where it's broke through I've just knocked it back clean the edges up so we can do epoxy band around these edges just to seal the metal down but there is definitely two types of paint here you can see the color difference stands out like a sore thumb it really does so I'm just wondering which one the customer has color matched it to because they're both different I'd say that's more the original than this um, but they're both being repainted in one color so we'll see what that's like when it comes to it so the next stage on this is to we'll mark these out where we're going to cut them to just do a little masking line round and we'll just sharpie this out and then we can just cut these we'll just mask these two together as you can see join the panel so they're both level together and then I've just drew out two pieces on some masking went in with some fine line first just went round got the shape put some masking tape over the top trace round it and then cut two masking tape shapes just to level them up so they look even either side I'm going to run a sharpie around that now and then we'll cut into the line with the dremel so the fun start the fun starts now with the dremel cutting these bits out but as you can see the colour difference between them two panels when you put them together big difference between the two so that's what we're going to cut out these are a little bit bigger than I think the originals but the better the airflow through these the better for the engine as this is a bit more of a suit up engine a good airflow through these when you're going along the air will come along like that and just circulate the engine so it'll be a lot better so that's the next step Stick you in a time lapse and we'll get these cut out. vents out give you a little pan round and show what we've done so I started off with the little Dremel disc which is this one here these are really good and just done some straight cuts down both sides on both of these and then went in with a drill bit like an 8 mil drill bit nice and slow drop the speed down to one on the DeWalt and just go in really slow there's nothing worse than drilling into steel going too fast you have to go nice and slow as the drill bit just warms up too quick. So load of drill holes around here. Then I switched over to this burr, which is this one. And these just cut through steel like butter, these ones. Nice and cheap, these are from Amazon. So I use that next, cut the steel out, and then I went in with a little Dremel sanding disc on one of these, and then just buzz round there and sort of chamfered the steel round so it's all nice and smooth. So if you ever needed to put your hands in them vents or something, it's all, you're not gonna cut your hands up putting your hand in, that's all nicely sanded. So the next stage on this is to clean these down and then where you've got this little bare steel edge here, we'll do some epoxy in on here, on both sides. Any breakthroughs where I've sanded, where there was little bits of paint where you could just see it starting to go, We'll drop the epoxy on, dust that in with the PS290, and then that will wrap this video up for today, guys, because I've got to nip to the sign shop, get the graphics sized up for this, the letters or numbers, and then in the next video, we'll drop the base coat down, we'll get the numbers on and get it into clear coat, and it'll be done. So see you in the next step. We'll get the epoxy sorted, clean these down, and we'll crack on.
There you go, guys. That's the masking stage that you've seen. I masked the internals because we're not painting them. We're just painting round to that lip that comes round. That's sort of mainly the damaged area on these because it's where they get put on and off the bike. They get knocked. So we've gone around with a nice coat of epoxy all the way around on the breakthroughs. Any bits where it rubbed through, sealing it down with the epoxy. On the two new cutout scallops here, epoxied round, little breakthroughs but gone underneath on the edge. And then as you can see, any bits where it broke through, we've put two coats of epoxy down. So that's it for today. We're going to wrap this one up. I hope you can join me in the next one when we give these a wet sand down in 800 ready for the base coat. We'll be dropping the turquoise base coat on these and we'll be dropping number 59 airbrushed in on the back and then get them into clear coat and they'll be done. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Don't forget if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe, press that notification, drop us a thumbs up guys. It does help the channel grow and gets the algorithm going and gets more views, it does help. So thanks a lot, see you in the next one.